Hey, what is up everyone? It's been quite some time since I left done a video actually for the PlayStation Vita. Um, there really hasn't been any application out there that really caught my eye. Um, except for this one which is called Hexflow Launcher. Um, if you guys remember the Nintendo Switch UI and the One Menu Plus I believe it was called, the One Menu UI where they would separate the games in the homebrew. This is what X-Flow Launcher, this is what it is pretty much similar to um, Nintendo Switch or more so the One Menu Plus application or One Menu. Um, I've also gotten a, um, a comment about the quality of the camera and stuff like that. I do apologize. I think I've told you guys before that I don't have the funds right now to go running out and buy myself a really expensive camera. Um, a, a girl, I believe a girl, um, who left a comment suggested my a cell phone. So I did take part in recording um, a good segment of this video um, via Google Android. Um, hopefully the quality is all right and the sound quality is, is good as well. Um, so just let me know. Um, it's a little bit more difficult because I don't have a stand for the cell phone itself, unlike the GoPro. Um, but at least I could zoom in um, relatively easy um, or easier with the cell phone. Um, so please let me know. Uh, links will be down in the description below. I'm going to um, install the application and, and show you the application as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the GitHub page where you're going to be downloading the VPK file. Uh, right now, I'm just showing you guys uh, a little about the a little information about the project that this person has created. The cool thing is you can do custom covers um, for your video games, custom background, and you could also install Auto Boot. If you guys remember the one menu in Nintendo Switch, um, you could have uh, the program launch every time you restart your PlayStation Vita. So what you want to do here is download the VPK file. As you can tell, left hand corner, it's been downloaded. What I like to do, I like to drag the file over to the desktop to make my life a lot easier. Um, when you start the um, file uh, FTP. So after that, let's go to the PlayStation side of things. All right, guys. Back over onto the Vita. I'm doing this all with uh, one hand. Um, one hand's holding the cell phone, and the other one's going to be moving the D-pad or the joystick um, down, I guess, or whatever. So this is what I have recently installed. Uh, the Slim is pretty much my backup PlayStation Vita in case like something gets messed up or I can't do anything about it. At least I have my PlayStation Vita fat version with a nice OLED screen. At least I have that to go um, to fall back on if something happens to this um, Slim. I do not have my PSN account, my PSN account linked to the system at all. Um, I believe I do with the PlayStation fat version. But these four games I just got um, for... to to do the video and stuff like that. Hotline Miami, Hotline Miami 2, Retro City Rampage, and Resident Evil Revelations 2. Uh, the two Hotline Miami games uh, looked like they were right up my alley, along with the Retro City uh, Rampage. So right from here, you want to go to the Vita Shell. You want to hit Select. As you see, the FTP numbers, I'm going to zoom in. Um, I'm recording this on an Android, Google Android phone. So there you go, there's the IP number. And let's head back over to the PC side of things and enter these numbers in so we can transfer over the VPK file. All right, once you get over to the PC side of things once again, you want to load up your FTP client. What I use is FileZilla. You could use that, it's free, or you could use Qt FTP or any other FTP clients that you'd like. So what I what you're gonna do now is load up whatever FTP client you got. 
you're going to enter in the IP address that the PlayStation Vita gave you. So, do that. Just hit connect. I don't know if you'll get this message or not. Just hit OK or tick that box off so you don't see it again. Go to the UX0 folder, please. Now scroll all the way down, and if you have a VPK folder, that's great. Keep everything nice and neat. Just drag over that VPK file from the desktop to the folder itself. And please wait for a few seconds. Alrighty, files have been transferred. Now you could just disconnect um, your FTP client to the PlayStation server, and let's hop back over to the PS Vita. Alright, now back to the PlayStation side of things. Um, we'll just cancel this out. We're going to go down to where it says UX0. Go all the way down to where it says VPK, the folder. And you're going to install the hex flow. Hit yes. Give it a few seconds. There we go. I'm going to zoom this back out. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the start button and I'm going to scroll down to reboot. All right. Swipe to enter. There we go. Hexflow has been installed. I picked this because it really reminded me of the video I made like a bunch of months ago called um, One Menu. It splits up the games and the homebrew into its own little section. And this looked like a really neat idea that somebody created and a better idea. So that's why I wanted to give this a whirl. So right from here. Let's hit start. Now the cool thing is that you could use auto load like I did in the video for uh, One Menu and the Nintendo Switch. Um, you could use auto load and you could load this hex flow. Um, it'll automatically load up every single time you reboot your uh, PlayStation Vita or when you power it off and power it back on. Um, this hex flow will automatically um, be enabled and it'll load up. So this is Hotline Miami. The second one is Resident Evil. Ooh, this is Re Retro City Rampage. Um, the rad thing about this is that you could do customized cover art as well. So these are taken from the bubbles. If you don't like the, um, the cover art for this, just Google image Retro City Rampage and find a different um, picture. And just drop it into the folder, and you could, um, uh, and you can. It's been a long day, excuse me. And you could have to change this out with something totally different. So these are under my games, and it shows you one of four. I do have four games installed, so that is correct. Now it says down here the circle is for view, squares for category. Uh, Triangle is for details, X is the launch. So let's go with triangle first. Comes up with this, app ID, version. So we're gonna hit circle to close. Next, I'm gonna hit the view, which is circle. There we go. It's even closer. And it says right down there, the left corner the title of the game. So you can have this view right here where it pretty much mirrors at the very bottom. It's like a water effect. I guess you could say it mirrors and stuff like that. A zero again. So it looks like there's only two views. Yeah. Um, we'll hit the square button for category. Now these are my homebrews that I have installed. It says one and nine. I got Adrenaline, Auto Plugin 2, Custom Themes, Hex Flow, of course, this, and uh, the Game Boy Advance emulator, PKGJ, which 
you download all your PS1 games and your Vita games and all that shit. And get your RetroArch. And this is for the point-and-click computer games. I didn't uninstall it. I will later on. And this is your, like, file manager. Like, you'd have on your Windows 10 PC. Now, if I had PSP games uh, installed, it would show up on here. On the upper left-hand corner, it says, oop, it says PSP. But I don't have anything installed. And... If you want all, it'll show you everything that you have installed. You can use your finger if you'd like. But you got to use the D-pad left or right. You just can't hold it and it won't auto-scroll, unfortunately. But you can use the bumpers, though. So that's kind of rad. So let's take... Let's take Hotline Miami. We'll hit the X to launch. Hopefully this audio is all right. Because I would rather use the GoPro, but, you know, like I told you earlier. See, I don't have my PSN account um, connected. I'm not going to do it, so. All right, let's just... Back out of this. So this is the Hexflow. Um, Hexflow, whatever the hell it's called. Let me go back up here. Hexflow launcher. I apologize. I, I really like this, actually. My homebrews. So this is something you could use if you don't want to use um, the one menu. It's totally up to you. But if you hit start, uh, it comes up with these settings. You could have the games launch first. You show, well, show your games first if you like. Or you could have homebrews, PSP, or all. So I'll just leave it on uh, games right now. Reflection effect, you can turn that off and on. Um, as you can tell, it's just a mirror image at the bottom. You have sounds. You can have the color blue, which is right now. Red, yellow, green, gray, or black. I'm going to stick with blue. You could also have custom backgrounds. I don't have any. And just... Uh, a little bit of the belt and stuff like that. It tells you right here, custom covers, place your custom covers in the UX0 data hex flow slash covers slash PS beta or PSP if you want to change out like the PSP um, from covers to something totally different. Um, it tells you right here to, how to do the background and stuff like that since I don't have any background image, but it tells you how to go about putting your own background image. So that's kind of rad. And that's it. Um, I like this little application. It's, Nintendo Switch was all right. It wasn't bad. Um, the one menu, I really enjoyed. This, I really like. Um, this would look really nice um, when it's when auto, uh, auto loaded or auto, whatever I said earlier was, whatever the application was. If you install auto loader or auto launcher, and launch this program, Hexflow, every time you reboot reboot your system or turn your system on, that would be nice. But this is the Hexflow launcher, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. It's been quite some time since I did a video. I've been looking on the internet for something to do. I'm actually in the process of building a computer. Um, my buddy got me into it. I didn't pre-order the new PlayStation 5. Um... I think they're going to be very hard to get, and I think it's about time for me to move on from a console. Um, that's just me. I don't know what you guys think about it, but I'll do the, after he puts everything in, I'll do a quick little video of what I bought and stuff like that. Um, 
I'll just tell you this, that the case is just freaking ridiculously big. And I'm not going to buy a monitor just yet because I'm going to use the 75-inch uh, LG TV that I have um, right there. I'll use that as my monitor because it's 4K. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm done with consoles. Um, to me, I think it's just not worth it anymore when you could just buy yourself a PC or build yourself a badass PC with all updated parts and you don't need to upgrade for like eight years or something ridiculous like that instead of uh, buying a console, what, like every four maybe years? I'm guessing I could be totally wrong. So I think I'm going to go the PC route now. Um, I do plan on buying Cyberpunk, but that will be on the PC because I really want to play that on the PC instead of the console. Um, but Call of Duty Cold War, I am going to be picking up. I do want to play that. I think, I really think that um, Call of Duty games like that should be played on a console for some reason. I just have a, I know, I just think like that, I guess. But um, yeah, that's my whole new adventure. That's why I've been absent because I've been looking around for the for best parts and stuff like that and having my buddy help me. Um, he made me a PC part list. I'll actually throw the PC part list up in the description um, so you guys can see. Um, there's a few things that he put down that I went overboard on, like the RAM. I bought 32 instead of 16 because um, I thought my thinking is that the better parts you got, the better PC you'll have and stuff like that. And, who you know, the more the better instead of 16, 32. So. But I am waiting for the new AMD chip to come out next Friday, so I do want to buy that. But I was thinking of the 3900X from AMD. I'm not going to go Intel. But hopefully everybody likes this, and please enjoy. Please be safe still, and um, I guess I'll catch you around in the next video.